The internet is an incredible thing. It's completely changed the way we live our lives and has given us the luxury of having all the information and content we could dream of right at our fingertips. It's also given anyone the ability to share creepy and mysterious videos with the world. Be that UFOs, poltergeists, or unknown creatures caught on tape, there are thousands of them out there, and I have found a mix of five pretty damn good ones that I'm sure are going to get you thinking, and maybe even a little creeped out. Now before I start, I want to answer the age-old comment that comes with these kind of videos I make. Yes, I do get scared when making these, especially when working on them at night. So, from a once-in-a-lifetime piece of footage that is believed to show a flying witch, to a woman who believes she was pushed to the ground by an unseen force, that just so happens to have been caught on CCTV. Here are five truly creepy pieces of footage, some of which still need explaining. Sit back and enjoy. Mysterious Ball of Light at around 4am on May the 28th, 2015, Michael Oishi caught something very unusual on CCTV. The footage was taken at a synagogue in Zaporosa, Ukraine, and appears to show a floating ball of light just outside in the car park. Judging by the footage, it's thought to be about the size of a bowling ball, and is seen floating up and down and disappearing out of shot. Take a look. Some believe it was the result of a rare case of ball lighting, although quite possible, this was dismissed as the weather at the time was clear and storm-free. Other suggestions were that an infrared light was shining on the camera and produced the image, although if this was the case, it wouldn't show 3D movement like it does. Others found out that despite now being refurbished, the original synagogue at the location this footage was taken used to be a place where Nazi troops ordered the local Jews to report before sending them to the concentration camps. This led to the thought that the light was a ghost or an angel. What's your thoughts? Ghost Pushes Woman This next video is a bit of possible paranormal activity that appears to show a lady being pushed over by an unseen force. Cecilia Carrasco from Chile was walking past the reception desk at her lawyer's office in early 2015 when she felt someone push her with such force that she fell to the floor and sustained head injuries that required hospital attention. The video really speaks for itself, so take a look. It really does look like she was pushed and didn't just slip. This is what Cecilia said about the incident. I wasn't aware of anyone in front of me as I passed the reception desk talking to a girl, and as I looked towards the receptionist, I suddenly felt two pairs of hands shove me over. I hit the floor, but when I looked up, I couldn't see anybody, and I thought they must have run off. When the receptionist told me that there was nobody there, I didn't believe them until they showed me the footage. Now I'm convinced that this was a ghost, because I felt the hands, even though there was nobody around. Cecilia claims she is a skeptic when it comes to ghosts, but since the event, she has changed her mind and is convinced that she was the victim of a paranormal attack, and she has been left so frightened that she is nervous to leave her house. Doctors who treated Cecilia confirmed her injuries were consistent with a fall and couldn't explain the footage. What do you think? Did she slip or was she pushed by a paranormal being? This next one is something a bit different, but is pretty unnerving. It began in Jordan and Jack's house in Bucktown, Chicago, who would settle down in their living room for the evening to watch TV. The pair eventually fell asleep on the couch and when Jordan couldn't find her purse the next day, they looked through the security footage and were horrified at what they found. They found out that while sleeping on the sofa, an intruder was in the house who can be seen at the top of the stairs. What's creepy is that he stood there for around 5 minutes like something out of a horror movie, appearing to watch the TV as the two slept just below. He then disappears and comes back for a few more minutes. Take a look, it's pretty eerie. It turns out the couple had left their door open during the night and the man had walked in and taken Jordan's purse. He was also responsible for other burglaries in the area. In a way, I'm sure the couple are glad they caught him on camera because they now know what happened to the purse and the footage can be used to help identify the intruder. 
but I can't imagine how creepy that must have been, knowing the man was stood just above them as they slept. Seriously, don't forget to lock your doors, because you never know who is out there. You may remember a video of mine where I talked about the weird YouTube channel WebDriver Torso that is now believed to be a YouTube bot, while this next one is similar but even more mysterious. It started in March 2015 when a YouTube channel called Unfavorable Semicircle was created. The first video was titled 230511 and was a mere 4 seconds long. It had no audio, just a static brown background with a tiny black hole in the middle. Fast forward to February 2016 and the channel had posted 200,000 videos, many of which were uploaded just seconds apart. Now there is so much to talk about, I could go on for hours, but here is the basics. We know the average video length is 5 seconds and that the video's titles were not all the same. The first few thousand contained this symbol, which is the astrological sign for Sagittarius, and others have the title Brill or Brine, followed by a number. Take a look at a few of the videos. Yeah. The channel quickly gained internet attention and people were trying to solve the clues and figure out the purpose of this whole thing. They were looking for a link between all of the videos but there doesn't seem to be one. Some contain moving images, a man's voice, a code in the thumbnail but not in the video, and one was 11 hours of the same picture. So what theories have been brought forward? Well, some say it's a game for a super intelligent computer, a numbers station, or even someone looking for internet fame. But by the huge amount of videos uploaded, this seems impossible to sustain. Then the theory that it could be a test channel for YouTube was brought up, although since there is such a lack of consistency in the videos, this seems unlikely. And also the fact that one of the video's descriptions contained the numbers 1000, which is the only video to have a description, has also made the YouTube bot theory unlikely. But then something happened that dismissed this theory entirely. On February 2016, Unfavorable Semicircle was shut down due to a terms of use violation, which was most likely caused by the sheer amount of videos it was uploading in such a short amount of time. So if it wasn't YouTube, then what other theories are we left with? Some say it could be a search engine test to see how YouTube videos play in different browsers. This theory came up when a few people reported that only Unfavorable Semicircle's videos were crashing with their Firefox, and some were not playing at all on one browser but would on another, which is kind of strange. And lastly, people say it could be an online communication between a group of people who are talking back and forth in secrecy. As of now, the channel is still down, but it did resurface on Twitter and has uploaded over 10,000 videos in the same style. Whatever was going on, it sure captured the imagination of people, and I can see why. It's just a shame that since the original channel has been shut down, we may never know the true purpose of this channel and the thousands of seemingly random videos. Monterrey Witch Video in Monterrey, Mexico and the surrounding area, there has long been talk of flying humanoid witches who have been terrifying the locals for years. And these aren't uncommon reports either, there are hundreds of them, the most credible coming from two police officers. The first one was Gerardo Gaza, an officer from Santa Catarina, who claimed he seen two of the flying entities whilst on a routine patrol near a cemetery. He claims he was in the guardhouse when he heard what sounded like stones being thrown at the door. When he went out to investigate, he was confronted by two witches, who he described as having old faces with red eyes, claws, and feathered wings. Spooked by their horrible laugh and appearance, Gerardo rushed back to the guardhouse and called for backup. He then looked through the door's peephole and could see them flying in circles above. Shortly after, officers came to Gerardo's aid and also saw the witches before they flew away. The next sighting was by officer Leonardo Samanigo, who saw a similar creature a few years earlier, this time near the mountains in Monterrey. He said the witch had flown at his patrol car and that she had no eyes but empty black sockets. When it flew at his windshield for a second time and stared right at him, he apparently passed out and when backup came, the witch was nowhere to be seen. It all sounds hard to believe, but in 2006, some very interesting footage was released that is believed to confirm the many witch sightings. It was taken in Monterrey and is believed to be the first time it's been caught on camera. Take a look.
pretty strange. Now, there are people who believe it's fake, and I can see why, but to date, there is no proof that it is, and no one has come forward to take responsibility. That doesn't mean it's real, or that the sightings and reports are true, but it sure is scary. What's your thoughts on it? So that's a handful of pretty damn creepy videos. I hope you've enjoyed, and if you've stayed this long and been a fan of my channel for a while, I'm sure you can appreciate the incredible background music that completes my videos. If you do, then go show Koda.ig Music some support. He is the man behind all those amazing ambient tracks, and is quickly becoming the go-to man for awesome copyright-free music. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will see you next week for another one.